One of the most popular categories in the power sports world is ATVs. We're talking about four wheels. So I suppose we should call this one uh, new to two plus two. Hi, I'm Robert Pandia with New to Two, and in this segment, we're going to be talking about everything about ATVs and what the heck is a UTV. The core of an ATV is basically just like a motorcycle, centrally mounted engine in a very strong chassis. Of course, you've got foot pegs and the seat relationship being very similar to what you see on a motorcycle. Tubular handlebars as well. Where that changes is you got four wheels on the deck. That means a lot of technology that is adapted specifically for the ATV. As you can see on this Yamaha Raptor 250, independent front suspension. A really neat setup which helps you tame the rough terrain. ATVs are a whole nother way to go riding off-road. The two primary types of ATV out there are sport and utility. This YZF 450 Yamaha is a very, very sporty quad. You're looking at very long travel suspension made to jump and fly through the air. A ton of power in that motor, basically equivalent to a 450 off-road dirt bike. Long travel suspension means you have to have very sophisticated suspension and adjustability. Strong brakes help you slow down when those moguls come up. A lot of power in this bike not a beginner unit. Swinging around to a more utility-based UTV, the Yamaha Grizzly, it's got a 550 cc engine, it has four-wheel drive, it doesn't quite have as long travel suspension on it, but it does have utility racks. The racks are set up to help you work around your land, to work on the farm, to haul things around. But with that four-wheel drive, you can climb over just about any obstacle in front of you. It's not nearly as light as the Sport ATV, but it's a lot more useful. Camouflage paint job, that must mean one thing, it's time to go hunting. This particular ATV is set up with gun mounts on the front on top of the utility rack. It's also got a gun scabbard along the side. These are extra accessories that you can put onto utility ATVs that help you go hunting. Additional items like storage boxes, heated grips, and other little tricks to make you more comfortable when you're out there on the big hunt are available in the aftermarket. ATV means all-terrain vehicle, so you keep loading up your ATV with more and more utility racks, you need to carry more stuff, what happens? All of a sudden you have to build a whole new category. This is a Polaris Ranger UTV. UTV means utility terrain vehicle. It's got a steering wheel and that's the major difference between an ATV and a UTV. An ATV you sit on top of it and a UTV you sit in it. You also sit side by side. That's a nickname for the category as well. Side by sides have become extremely popular out on the market. Carrying more and more stuff means you have to have a bigger and bigger bed. That's what the UTVs have these days, a large, almost pickup truck style bed. Some of them even have dump beds. So you can carry hay, you can carry hunting equipment, you can carry whatever you might need out in the open. Side-by-sides and UTVs have gotten more and more popular in the aftermarket industry. There's all kinds of accessories to customize your ride. Of course, with all those aftermarket accessories available, people started adding horsepower, longer travel suspension, and guess what you've got? A whole new category of UTV. The Sport UTV is born. This is the Polaris Ranger Razor S. Features a powerful 800cc two-cylinder engine, long travel suspension, and a very sophisticated chassis. This UTV is made to fly. Of course, it still has the side-by-side -side seating, the steering wheel, and the standard gas and brake pedal, which makes this one very angry golf cart. With so many different options available in the ATV and the UTV world, we thought we'd catch up with Ken Kilgore from Polaris Industries to talk about all the different options there are in this exciting side of the power sports world. Now, Polaris has been in the ATV industry for some time and really a leader in the UTV side of things. Tell us some of the different uses between ATVs and UTVs out on the market. Well, the UTVs uh, have, have become very popular with family applications more than anything else. So first time riders, uh, wives, a lot of people that aren't comfortable on ATVs kind of 
transition to the UTV. Very popular in the desert, very popular in the dunes, as well as uh, you know utility type uh, applications. So the Razor S has actually been one of the most popular models in the industry. It's kind of revolutionized the application with going towards a sport-oriented model, and, and we're very pleased with it. So you're seeing a lot of family use in the ATV and the UTV side. There's a lot of accessories as well. And how are people customizing their units to suit their needs? Uh, quite a few ways. I mean, as far as the utility applications, you've got your, you know, your plows, your winches for your ranches and your farm applications. For our razors, uh, you know, you've got cabs, you've got desert lights, you've got wide travel suspension, long travel suspension, uh, exhaust packages, so you know this is more high performance versus the utility type segment. Thanks for setting us straight on new to two, Ken. So we got a lot of accessories out there, a lot of different options. If you're new to two plus two, you're gonna have to do a little bit of research to figure out where you want to go when you're on four wheels. As we saw, there's a lot of different styles of ATVs and UTVs out there. There's also different engine sizes. Different engine sizes are perfect for different size riders and different skill levels. So no matter what kind of four-wheel fun you're looking to have, you're going to want to hook up with your local dealer, ask them the right questions. What's the right ATV or UTV for you? And then you can be out there in the open road and enjoying nature in a very fun way. I'm Robert Pandya with New to Two Plus Two. Uh, we don't know how to end this one, but I'm Robert with New to Two, and we'll see you off the road. <laughs>